Two years ago, tragedy struck our community after a gunman took the lives of 23 people. So today we remember and honor the victims of the August 3rd mass shooting. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of KTSM 9 News. I'm Daniel Marin. And I'm Natasia Paloma. Since then, our community has shown its strength and really shown what it means to be El Paso strong. Now, on this second anniversary, city officials will unveil a healing garden at Escarate Park, space dedicated for reflection. We'll have more details on that in just a few minutes. But first, a memorial for those who lost their lives today at Ponder Park. That event was hosted by the Border Network for Human Rights. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap was there. She spoke with some of the victims' families, and she also spoke with some of the survivors of the shooting. A memorial service was held here at a Ponder Park, and you can see crosses are here with the names of the 23 people who lost their lives. Now, some family members uh, did stop by, including the sisters of uh, Jordan on Chondo. Now, Jordan and her husband, Andre, uh, died in the Walmart shooting, and her sisters actually brought these uh, photos here to this memorial of the couple's children. Yeah, so coming here today, I think it was a lot of emotions because um, last year we weren't able to do anything like this because of COVID. Um, now, since, you know, a little bit more time has passed and there's some social distancing, we are able to come and, you know, see what the community has put together. Putting photos of Sky and baby Paul in front of the crosses. One photo showing the children at their parents' gravesite. It brings a sense of joy bringing the pictures here, putting it down because I know if they were to see these pictures, it would make them smile as much as it's made us. Before Jordan's sisters arrived to lay down the photos, the crosses were carried through Ponder Park. Also at the memorial, a man who was inside the Sila Vista Walmart as shots rang out two years ago. Happened deep to be in the back of the store. His family. So I heard loud noise. And it didn't sound like gunshots, but. A lot of people started running towards the back of the where I was. Saying he helped another woman who was wounded. So we put her in a car and took her to the front. And that's where I really seen what happened. Right there in front of the inside this front door. August 3rd absolutely has to be a time of celebrating the lives of 23 innocent, beautiful souls wrapping our arms around their families and all the survivors, honoring them, honoring their memory. Congresswoman Veronica Escobar speaking at the memorial, saying August 3rd also needs to be a day for recommitting to justice. And we're recommitted to combating hate. You can see a sign here that says, always in our hearts. Now, that was a common theme of all of the speakers here today at this memorial service, saying we will not forget those who lost their lives two years ago and that we will remain El Paso strong. Reporting in East El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.